and welcome to Vols on the Ground. And I should have a Vols background, but it wouldn't work this morning. We may get it before the end of the session, but we'll start off with you in my home office. So I want to welcome you all here on behalf of the Board of Volunteers of Legal Service and all of our staff. Um, and Karen Arts Ash, who is chair of the board. My name is Ian Benjamin, and I am proud to have begun as the interim executive director just a couple of weeks ago. And I'm getting to learn VOLS, and I expect to be learning a bit more myself this morning together with you. We're going to hear presentations by a number of our partners and reflections on our outgoing executive director, Marsha Levy, who has led us so ably over recent years. We're now seven months into the pandemic. We recently conducted an analysis to take stock of our impact this past year. Vols programs have grown in response to the increased community need to meet the needs of our ultimate clients. Each of those clients and our served communities are particularly impacted by the three crises facing our city, the pandemic, racial injustice, and the economic recession. We operate through seven separate projects, projects perhaps most significantly uh, that have grown with the pandemic, the micro enterprise project serving some 1200 small business owners, their employees and family members, the unemployed workers project serving over 700 workers and their household members, and the COVID-19 frontline and healthcare workers initiative serving 110 workers and their loved ones. Our elderly project and veterans initiative has continued to serve almost 1,900 seniors and older veterans and their loved ones, uh, even with the difficulty in reaching them with senior centers closed. Our immigration project, dealing with the very challenging times for immigrant youth and their family members is serving over a thousand uh, such members of the community. Our incarcerated mothers law project continues to provide support to 170 mothers and their children, and our children's project continues to serve some 280 children and their family members. So in this last year, we directly benefited through our services, uh, which are only made possible through the support of other organizations, uh, some 5,384 low-income New Yorkers, uh, and we're serving across all of the boroughs. John, can you move on? We collaborate with more than 200 community-based groups across all the five boroughs in New York City. I haven't checked where all these dots are, uh, but uh, they are representing many of those community organizations. They're trusted local organizations to ensure that our neighbors can access VOL services when and where they're most needed. And turn to the next one. Uh, our, our attorneys and other team members train attorneys in the areas of law that are so important to meeting the needs of the various projects. And here we've noted some of those uh, firms that are so important to our ability to meet the needs of clients. And we maintain a network of over 1,600 volunteer attorneys and last year our volunteers provided over 18,000 hours of pro bono service. Now these programs and what we're doing together represent an expansion of how we serve New Yorkers. Uh, we co-launched this year the Small Business Legal Relief Alliance to support small business owners, relaunching our unemployment workers project, unemployed workers project, assisting New Yorkers in accessing their deserved benefits, and we newly launched our Frontline and Healthcare Workers Initiative. You'll hear today from representatives of each of these initiatives, as well as from our partners, 
of the uh, VOLS immigration project. As incoming executive director, I already know that I should bring you one strong message. And that message is thank you. Thank you for all of you do to support us and to support the clients that we are serving. And at this time, we have worked hard to bring New Yorkers together, uh, as we have done at VOLS since our founding in 1984. Then to confront severe federal budget deficits that year to legal services. And sadly, we're seeing cuts again to legal services now. But now I want to hand over to, to Pete and he's going to introduce himself. Pete is our legal director 